Yo guys, Seth Effects, welcome back to another video. Um just checking the audio interface. Okay. Today we're basically gonna be talking about the PM session model, right? Or the PM trend model or profile or strategy or whatnot, right? Um this one is pretty, pretty simple and fixed, right? Um it can it can be pretty much your B and B setup if that makes sense, right? In simple terms you only limited or you only utilizing pretty much a maximum of the four hour time frame and below right because it's an intra day profile whereby in simple terms the am trend right forms between the opening of the futures market which is 9 30 new york time all the way to to noon right but we looking for trading setups between the range of 10 a.m to 11 right so with this mo with this profile right it's pretty much fixed let me just okay pretty much fixed right when we're bullish and we have a specific drawn liquidity which would be in this case this short term high right here and this auto block range right here potentially maybe a 3 dd gap or an inversion 3 dd gap that could be within this one hour auto block on the lower time frame if that makes sense, right? Because that's usually how PDRAs behave, right? So when we are bullish, right, we look to see price on when the AM trend begins, right? We look to see price sweep the London kill zone low. The London kill zone is pretty much from 2 a.m. New York time all the way to 5 a.m. New York time. That's our London kill zone area, right? We look to see price sweep its low and if you want to be more comfortable with the trading setup right we look to see it sweep the low and then draw into um at this counter rate meaning in this case we have this one hour favili gap right here it's a common favili gap because price revisits it multiple times and also bearing in mind within this range we have this favili gap right here which in this case would behave as an inversion favor gap because right now when we have this range we divide it in half and then we are in a discount if that makes sense right but that's just additional things that i would say they're optional if that makes sense for so pretty much for all simplicity we look to see price sweep the asian low i mean the london kill zone low right and then this is pretty much how it looks on lower time frame this range right here this low it's pretty much this low on the 50 minute time frame right and then now when we are on lower time frame from the 15 minute to the five minute right we're looking for some form of displacement and displacement is when price breaks a short term high right and then goes back into that range and then starts looking for higher prices right and that short term high usually more often than not will have a breaker right so that high would be pretty much a breaker right so like now scaling down to the five minute time frame this is our displacement pattern if you make if that makes sense right whereby if price is moving bearish like this right it sweeps a short term high closes above draws back into the range drawing into a favorably gap a breaker or an invert inversion favorably gap or even an auto block right and then price draws higher right so we pretty much looking for this to form on the five minute and the 15 meaning that we're looking at this two time frames pretty much at like the same time to see where it's willing to pretty much form right and chances are it's pretty much going to form on the five minute first before the 15 right because the higher the time frame the higher the patterns or the higher yeah pretty much the higher the patterns are going to take to formulate right and right now on the five minute our displacement is pretty much this high right here and the reason it's this high right because it's the it's the within this bearish frame right it's the most recent short-term high that's right just right before price sweeps this low drawing lower mean that it's the most obvious high right so in this case we look to see price draw back into this range above here and then draw lower to a potential favorably gap so we're gonna scale down into a lower time frame which in this case would be okay we're still in the same time frame right 
No, it's a confusing. Okay. We need to see price draw back into the range after it closes above, right? It draws back into the range. We have our order block here. And then within this order block range, we look for additional PDRAs. In other words, the way I trust order blocks and favorability gaps is by, let's say, I identify a five minute order block, right? And the price falls back into it. I would scale down into a lower time frame, maybe like the one minute time frame, and look to see what's within this order block range. And most likely, you'd find favorability gaps or inversion favorability gaps within the order block range, right? So as soon as price stoops this high, closes above it, we look to see price draw lower, right? And if you wanted to execute a trade on the five minutes, this would be pretty much your entry. Meaning that as soon as price draws back into the range, you execute your trade with your stop below price, right? Just to let price breathe and then you'd be targeting buy side and pretty much the one hour order block, right? So price sweeps the most recent high, right? And this candle pretty much becomes a breaker block, right? Price closes above it, indicating displacement, and then it draws lower into the one, the five minute auto block range, right? Now we scale down into a lower time frame to see if there's any forms of inefficiencies that are within this range, right? So personally, I would prefer taking my trades on the one minute time frame, right? And this is how I would approach it. I would want to see price on the one hour time frame, I mean, the one minute time frame sweep a short term low right meaning short term sell side and then retrace above and then i'd be executing my trade either on an inversion favorably gap or i would wait for a breaker and then price draws into the re the breaker if that makes sense and usually within that breaker range there is a favorably gap right so scaling now to the one minute time frame right this range right here is pretty much this range right here as price draws lower like this it's this range right here if that makes sense right so on the one minute time frame within the order block range this is the order block range and if everything below it is the order block right meaning that it's this range lower it's pretty much this range if that makes sense we need to see price draw back into the order block range sweep sell side then we have a fur value gap right here supporting higher prices and then price draws higher right and then my execution would be when price closes above this inversion favorability gap because once a favorability gap when once price disrespects a favorability gap and closes above it if it was a, if it was a cb sell side imbalance price side inefficient right i look to see price retrace back into the inversion favorability gap and then go higher right so that's pretty much the first way you could have approached this. The second way is you wait for some form of displacement, right? And the most obvious one would be the short term high right here. You wait to see price close above it and then draw back into the breaker block because usually what you want to see when you're trading breakers, right? When you project it all the way to this side, you would pretty much want to see a favorability gap within the range, right? Whereby now we have this busy right here buy side imbalance sell side inefficient right as price goes back into the breaker you will take your long with the breaker right because the chances are in it within this low to this high when you divide it in half you'd have the equilibrium range and then everything would be in a discount right so you want to be taking longs in the most obvious discount zone meaning that from the equilibrium and below right so this is pretty much how the setup or the profile works. You identify on higher time frame, you look to see price sweep London. If you're bearish or no, if you're bullish, you look to see price sweep the London kill zone low, right? And then you scale down to a lower time frame. You want to see displacement whereby price closes and then reverses to a short term high retraces back into the range right as soon as price retraces back into the range to the potential favorability gap or an order block you want to go into the one minute time frame and you want to see price sweep sell side on the one minute time frame and then draw back above creating the higher time frame pattern meaning that this whole pattern whereby price sweeps sell side and then creates displacement and then goes higher you want to see that on just 
on a micro level, if that makes sense, right? So I hope this made sense and hope you learned something or you found this insightful, right? Um, if you need any assistance, uh, just be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section. And yeah, hope everybody stays safe.